Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. For 43 years, the burger basket in Taylorsville has been a central part of the community's everyday life, a welcoming type of place where employees stay on for 20 or 30 years and become the town folks' confidants. Bob Garner paid a recent visit to sample the wonderfully messy burgers and some of the eatery's other offerings. The burger basket opens early, Monday through Saturday. What does that tell you? Now when I can come to a little eatery like this that features both breakfast and lunch and maybe even dinner, you know I'm going to dig into all of them. Now we're in Alexander County, which means we're in the heart of Livermush country. This was a, a gift from the German settlers who poured into this part of North Carolina in the latter part of the uh, 18th century. Popular any time of day and especially for breakfast. Now this is really very mild. It's pork liver, which doesn't have the same strong taste as beef liver. There's cornmeal in there, crunchy on the outside, kind of sausagey on the inside. Mmm, really, really good. You'll need not only some eggs, but some biscuits and gravy with that. Burger Basket's founder, the late F.S. Shook, was a character. A one-time stock car racer, he owned a cab stand, and during one two-and-a-half year period, he measured walking nearly 5,300 miles as a curb hop. He was well-loved for putting up expensive Christmas light displays for the community. He enjoyed pleasing people, and his endeavors oftentimes were in those fields, such as uh, a restaurant, uh, providing the lights at Christmas just to share. This has been 25, 30 years ago. He had a $3,000 power bill on his lights at Christmas. Now this is the burger basket after all, and what could be any finer than a big, sloppy, Carolina-style burger with lots of chili and slaw. I even asked for extra chili and slaw in there. Look at that. Oh, this is a disaster waiting to happen here. Mmm, mmm. You know, it's the simplest things in life that are always the very best. That has a wonderful amount of chili and slaw on there. It is sloppy, but the underlying burger is really, really good. You can see why you can build a half-century reputation on a burger like that. Now, the buzz in the room when I came in was onion rings, onion rings. So, you better believe I'm going to try one of these gorgeous-looking onion rings. Mm -hmm. Again, a very simple thing, but how do you get the coating to stick to the onion ring and not kind of slide off of there? How do you keep the onion from getting so sort of sloppy and wilty under there that it really isn't worth eating? Mm. That is really a well-engineered onion ring. Burger Basket employees tend to stick around for a while. Suma Davidson retired after 40 years here. Best of luck on your retirement from everyone at Burger Basket. So obviously they considered you uh, just part of the part of the family. Right, right. We just uh, got involved in their everyday life, and and you know you listen to their problems, and they listen to you, and just becomes kind of a big family. Rita Mash has been there for 33 years, Maggie Baker for 22 years. And Maggie is the one who cooks everyone's favorite plate special, the really homey tasting country style steak. Mm. It just uh, is so soothing on your palate. You can tell the meat fibers are just gonna pull apart without any effort. Flavor is good, deep and rich, wow with mashed potatoes and gravy, of course. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, the Burger Basket has been working exceptionally well for over 40 years. For North Carolina Weekend, I'm Bob Garner. The Burger Basket is in Taylorsville, and they're open Monday through Saturday for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.